My son has issues. Quiet, you. Or I shall put you on YouTube. All right, go. Ha! Dr. Paul here. You're not gonna believe how big this ward is. Let's go take a look. Hello. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Oh my word. That is a big ward. Yep, that's a big ward, all right. So if we were to measure that, it's exactly an inch across. Hey. That's, that's uh big. that's so impressive. That's a big wart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We were really concerned about this wart. So at last time you were here, we froze it. Yeah. I think it was like less than half that size. It, less than a third. Less than a least. third. Yeah. And it, it, what happened? Um well, it became a blood blister and then it finally popped and the skin peeled away. And Two, three weeks later, it started hurting again during football practice, and I checked, and it's like, oh, it's there really it big. Yeah. So just for the record, blood blister after freezing is a common side effect. I'm, I have never had a situation where if someone who had a blood blister came back. It's like, oh, great, you get a blood blister, it's going to be gone. So that's a first. And then you get to have another first with the largest ward I've ever seen as far as diameter goes. We're going to give this a good freeze. Oh, you want to film it here? Sure. Oh, oh, Zoe! <laughs> right, what is this? Well, this is lidocaine with prilocaine. What's it for? Lidocaine with prilocaine. It is a topical numbing agent. Seems reasonable for a wart this size. This guy's got a bad one. Let's go give him a little bit of pain relief. It's going to have a tendency to want to follow gravity. But I want to paint it on there pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. It's like frosting. It's like a wart cake. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna go get some liquid nitrogen. I'm gonna do a double scooper here. Cause that's a big wart. That's such a big wart. I don't want to run out. So we're gonna wipe off this. Aha. See how it's pale around it? Mm -hmm. That's numbing. And then I got a double. Wait, hold on one second. I keep going one second. I keep going. Feeling it? Yep. Yeah, I've had I've had warts frozen off my toes, but. You hear that? Mm -hmm. All right, but I never had a wart this big. You get the prize. Oh, I wonder if they have a Guinness World Records. Probably, actually. We should apply. <laughs> we have the film of it. We have film of it. We've got the tape measure of it. So, chat with you a little bit about what you're going to do with this, since it is a world record wart. Um, I sure hope you don't have to come back again, right? Yeah. Because this is no fun. Um, what I would do, there's a study showing that you can put duct tape over warts, and that will actually help them go away. So if I were you at night, I would put a piece of duct tape over this wart, and in the daytime take it off and just go about your day. And then after about two weeks, if, if it's still there, I would start doing a liquid wart medicine that you can buy over the counter. And you're just going to dab it on there like I'm dabbing this liquid nitrogen. And then cover, let it dry and then cover it with duct tape. All and right. that you would do nightly. And I'm pretty sure that'll work. Now if that all fails, we've got two other options. One is... Start to feel it. Oh, I've been feeling it for You've been a feeling while. bad? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to make sure we get a good enough freeze that you don't have to come back. Generally, we want to freeze about a millimeter of normal tissue. But, uh, gosh, this is so much wart. Yeah, it is. That uh, it's hard to get, get into the normal tissue. What I was going to say, though, is plan B and C. 
if if this deep freeze and then the uh, topical treatment with duct tape doesn't do it, um, we could refer you to a dermatologist. And there's a couple different approaches they will use. One is a, a beetle juice actually, and they'll apply beetle juice, and it really stimulates your immune system. Uh, more. They actually apply it somewhere else on your body and, that, and, then it, and then when they apply it to the wart your immune system goes there and just attacks the heck out of it. Right. So, um, you know, I don't have that here but a lot of dermatologists do. Otherwise they kind of do the same thing as I'm doing. You are freezing the crap out of I know. Are you, are you okay by the way? Yeah. <laughs> his tears rolled down his face. <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah, I've never frozen one quite this much. I've never seen you frozen. But one. I'm trying to get a little bit of normal tissue. You see that? And there's just sorry, just a little rim. Um, and you can say uncle or when or that's enough, doc. Or whenever you think it's okay. Good. I, I feel like I'm close. I'm almost. I almost have a rim of of tissue. I mean, of of frozen normal skin. Yeah, what we can't see is how deep this one is. You know, it That's looks true. it looks flat on the surface, but my guess is it's deeper than it looks because it's not giving me that freeze of the normal tissue. So it's the ward itself is it's probably a little deeper than it looks. That hurt more when it sizzles like that? Uh, Your no, past it's, pain? It's, yeah, yeah. It's like... Yeah, I don't... You're not feeling any worse than It doesn't feel any different. Oh, okay. Because that's what I wanted to see, that little rim of, of good tissue. See that? Yeah, I see that. Now. Yeah, because that will... Um, that brings blood flow to the area, and it's actually your immune system that, that kills the virus. Warts are a virus. Mm -hmm. And... Um, yeah, we're getting a little bit of normal tissue now. So if you happen to get another blood blister, are you still playing sports right now? No, we're season ended. Okay, good. You know what, what I might suggest you also do is get a piece of mole skin and cut a hole slightly bigger than the wart so that you've got a rim of skin around it. All right. So that when you walk, you're ticklish, aren't you? Yeah, I'm very ticklish. <laughs> so when you walk, the pressure is going to go here on the on the raised mole skin, rather than on that wart. I think right. that wart's going to be sore. You get to dump this on the floor. Oh yeah. That's your reward. Nice, nice. So what we're seeing there is that rim of normal tissue, and the redness is it's going to get more red as it thaws out. Uh, I mean, it's frozen white like an ice cube, is, yeah. and uh, as it thaws out, that white area is going to get red. Mm -hmm. Now the the it still hurts like heck, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, so the worst of this pain lasts for about ten minutes. This one might last a little longer because we did a deep freeze. I've never seen a freeze. And then it's going to ache a little bit when you walk for a yeah, couple days. I yeah. All right. Damn, dude. And my foot's falling asleep too. Is it? Yeah, it has. Oh, What's it feel like right now? It's in a lot of pain. Yeah. Yeah. But. Let's give this guy some Valium or something. Folks, this guy endured more pain for a wart than I've ever caused anybody in my career. So lots of thumbs up for this one, folks. And good job, man. You were tough. <laughs> you were tough. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Want some ibuprofen? Yeah, uh, sure. Why not? Yeah, uh, I'll grab sure. I've seen him do a million warts and he does always do the same thing. He tries to get that outer rim to start showing that it's starting to freeze, but this one was so big it just wasn't. It wasn't oh yeah, it used to be just like right there. And then it moved all the way over there. Uh-huh. Damn. I already got a million shots of it, but I just can't stop telling. <laughs> Crazy. Nicely yeah. done, bro. And then I have to drive home.